Okay, uh, let's consider this permutation problem. Suppose that you are on a speaking tour in five different cities. San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego, Buffalo, Detroit. How many different ways can you arrange the itinerary? Obviously, the order matters here. And the next part of the problem is, if the three speeches in California have to be given consecutively, then how many different ways? If that restriction, then how many ways can you arrange the itinerary? Well, let's go up here to the first part of the problem. Here we have five different cities, so obviously, how many different ways can we arrange the trips to the five different cities? Clearly, that's just going to be five factorial. So that's 120 different ways that we could visit these five different cities. Now, for the second part of the problem, it says if the three speakers in California, these three cities here, if they have to be given consecutively, under this restriction, how many different ways can you arrange the itinerary? So, here, for the second part of the problem, you can think of it in two parts. We have San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego. You can think of this as California part of the trip. Then there's also Buffalo and Detroit. So here we consider California. Once we're in California then it doesn't well we're not instructed as to what order we have to go to. We can choose these in any order we want. But once we're in California, we can't give a speech here, then go to Buffalo, then come back to California, then maybe go to Detroit. Once we're in California, we have to hit all the California cities. So, how many ways? Let's just think about the California part of the trip. The number of ways that we could arrange this itinerary, there's three different cities, we're going to hit all three of them. So, that would just be factorial, or we could think of it like this, three different cities, we're going to all of them, as we showed before, this here does equal three factorial. So, if you think of this for the California aspect of the trip, there's three factorial, or six different ways of arranging that itinerary. But then we also have this and this, so here then we can think of, well, there's California, there's Buffalo, and there's Detroit. So you can think of here then as these consolidated into one block. So to answer this part of the question, what we have to think of is how many different ways can we set an itinerary between Detroit, Buffalo, and California. So again, we're thinking of just three separate entities, Detroit, Buffalo, and the California block. That can be arranged, the different entities, that can be done three factorial number of ways. Once we're in California, to cover these cities within California consecutively, that can be done three factorial ways. So, here then we have to think of, for this part of the problem, there's a T1, and that is considering this itinerary between the Buffalo, Detroit, California block, and then T2 is once we're in California, San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego cities. So here, this can be done 
factorial number of ways. This also can be done the factorial number of ways. So now for the, all the itineraries together, that's considering the task T1 and afterwards task T2. And what is the total number of ways that we can do that? The fundamental counting principle tells us it's the number of ways that we can perform T1. That's the prime of the factorial times the number of ways that we can perform task V2. That also is the factorial. Of course, this is 6 and this is 6, so that is 36 different ways. So, here, in the first part of the problem, we have five different cities to visit. How many different ways can we can do it when the order matters? The answer to that is, is 5 factorial, or 120. Now, for the second part of the problem, well, once we get to the California, then we have to go through all these cities consecutively. So now for the second part of the problem, we have to think, well, there's the Detroit entity, there's the Buffalo entity, and there's the California entity. How many ways can we arrange an itinerary between these three different identities? And the answer is, that's just three factorial, or six number of different ways. Once we're in California, then we have to visit these three cities consecutively, and there's three prime number of ways of doing that. Or, of course, this is just six. And this is just six. So now, if we consider the total itinerary involving Detroit, Buffalo, and these three consecutive visits inside California, what's the total number of ways that we can arrange that itinerary? Now we have to think of, well, there's task T1 that involves these three entities. Then we have the complete task T2 that involves three, these three different cities in California, or these three different entities. And to perform each one of these can be done in six different ways for task T1, six different ways for task T2. So the total number of ways is 36 different ways. So if we have to hit all the cities in California consecutively, how many different ways can we arrange the itinerary? Now it's not 120 anymore. With this restriction, the answer now is 36. Okay, anyway, that takes care of the permutation problems uh, for this part of our presentation of permutations and combinations. Come back and join us for the next video and we're going to consider how to handle permutation problems when all the objects are not the same, and also we're going to consider how to handle combination problems. So come back and join us for those videos, and we'll try and work some more problems.